Busch Gardens Tampa is one of the best theme parks in the world, with some world-class coasters like Montu, Kumba, Chikra, and Cheetah Hunt. Unfortunately, since their last coaster, Cobra's Curse, they've closed more rides than opened them, including Gwazi, Tidal Wave, and Jungala temporarily. But that's all changed today, thanks to my friends at Touring Central Florida. We have three new name permits for a potential 2019 new addition. So before I start speculating on what new attraction the park will get, I'm going to go over the names real quick, just with my quick thoughts. So the first name is Tigris, and I love this name. I'm a huge advocate for Bush Gardens keeping the one word authentic African names. And this, while it may not even be authentic, it's still a really cool name. I really like it. I don't think they'll go with it because the last three uh, new rides, Cheetah Hunt, Falcon's Fury, Cobra's Curse, and other parks and the other rides in the chain have been starting to go for the two word format. But if they went with this name, I would be all for it. I really enjoy this name. The next name is Uproar. And while it's not a terrible name, it's just not really a Bush Gardens name. It's not named after an animal. And Kumba already means roar. So it just seems kind of redundant. And the last name that everybody's losing their minds about is Twisted Tiger because theme park fans are not creative, and they think because Twisted is in the name, it will be an RMC. Which leads me into my topic. I'm going to speculate on three new r rides and what they could be, and let's start with the big elephant in the room. Now listen, I know a lot of people, including myself in the past, have been a big rumor advocate for RMC Guazi, but guys, at this point, it's not going to happen. The structure has been sitting there for at least three years now, untouched. Bush has been leaving it in disrepair. All the things they said when they closed it, the humidity, the problems. And I think this tweet alone just shows how Bush is treating this ride. It's going to come down at some point. The RMC would just be so expensive. And to make it a dueling like that, like on top of having to repair all this wood, would just be, the cost would be insane. It's very unlikely, but the twisted name does raise a question. The second most likely option, in my opinion, is a Mac or an Intamin hypercoaster. Bush and SeaWorld is trying to keep the cost low right now, and a Giga is way out of the question. But a nice, just hitting 200 foot hypercoaster would be perfect. The park needs airtime, and something like Expedition G Force or the legendary DC Rivals, which is getting so much hype right now, would do wonders for the park, even maybe more than an RMC Gwazi, because DC Rivals is getting that much hype right now. A uh, tiger theme would fit for this, and they could fit in a non-inverting loop. I, the Bush needs one ride without an inversions. All, every ride, but Cobra's Curse is the biggest ride that doesn't have an inversion. Even Scorpion and Cheetah Hunt do. So in just a nice airtime-filled ride, and it would be Intimate or Mac, because uh, Mako is at SeaWorld, and Bush and SeaWorld Orlando don't like to repeat themselves between the two parks. So Intamin or Mac, I think, is the most uh, likely manufacturer. Um, we've seen SeaWorld work with Intamin in 2017 with Wavebreaker and Mac in 2016 with Cobra's Curse. So we And there's already an Intamin with Cheetah Hunt, so we either, we're either getting a second Mac or a sec second Intamin in the park. But either way, we all come out as winners, and this would be a great option, but I still don't believe it's the most likely currently. And number one, as much as I don't want to admit it, I think it's going to be a Skyrocket 2. There's always been the rumor that Bush and SeaWorld bought three Skyrocket 2s, one being Tempesto at Bush Gardens Williamsburg and the new Electric Eel coming to SeaWorld San Diego. And the option is just too good to pass up. It would be a new coaster for the park. It'd be super cheap. They don't have to design anything. The Tiger theme would maybe fit. It's a small footprint. It's just... It seems like the right option. I know we all would love RMC Gwazi. We'd love a Hyper. I mean, we'd absolutely go crazy for a Giga. But the Skyrocket 2 is just too likely currently. With the current state of SeaWorld and Bush Gardens, finances are real low. It's going to be something probably small. Like the biggest addition we've seen in the last three years was Mako. And while that was a big addition, it was a very short and cost cut hyper coaster. And we probably don't want something, that, if it's going to be a hyper coaster, we don't want it to be cost cut. So if we're just going to get something small, this is, this is good enough. I know it's not the best news, but I do think it's the most likely. But I always have my hopes up. 
all three of these options are like they're possible everything's possible we will just have to wait and see what happens but check back for here uh, for any updates i'll make any videos and check out touringcentralflorida.com for the original link and stay tuned and have a good day